a meeting and elbow bump three years in the making. This warm reception in Bali amid a deep freeze in relations. Penny Wong says beginning the diplomatic thaw starts with these simple first steps. We do have our differences. We do have our differences. We both recognised it is a first step for both our nations. Face to face on the sidelines of the G20 Foreign Minister's Summit, the list of challenges discussed was long. From trade sanctions to Australians detained in China, Penny Wong says frank conversations are the way to stabilise relations. It's going to take time, it's going to take uh, effort, it's going to take work and it's going to take some nuance. To fix a relationship China says is currently strained. Speaking ahead of the meeting, Beijing says if Australia wants a reset, it needs to take concrete actions. The Australian side's accusations that China is carrying out trade coercion absolutely cannot be pinned on the Chinese side. With Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov among those attending the meeting here in Bali, the war in Ukraine dominated proceedings. And he took a swipe at Australia's stance. I have no slightest doubt that your embassy in Moscow faithfully reports what they learn about the origins of this conflict, which was evolving for many, many years. And uh, if those reports are ignored in Canberra, that's not my problem. I've got a message for him, which is I will always stand up for sovereign nations, for the international rule of law. A further meeting between Australia with China has not yet been scheduled. I think it would be in our interest to do so, uh, both our interests, but that would require uh, both countries to agree to do so. The ball back in China's court. Anne Barker, ABC News, Bali.